You know what it is. That's right. It's time to talk money with your money nerd and financial coach. Now, tighten those purse strings and open those ears. It's the Money Talk with Tiff podcast. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Money Talk with Tiff podcast. So today I have Whitney Bonds on the line. So Whitney, I'm super excited to talk to because she was a working mom desperate to find her way to make money from home so she could stay home and raise her children, which a lot of moms want to do. She found a void in the market for this very thing and created a website to help her and other moms find legitimate ways to make money from home. The jobs Whitney recommends works for everyone, not just moms. Um, so guys, y'all can still apply <laughs> um, and can earn you as little as $1,000 a month to having $10,000 a month. So I need to know about some of those. Um, <laughs> everything has been tried by a mom, so you can rest assured that it works. So thank you so much, Whitney, for coming on the show today. No problem. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I'm so excited about this conversation because like I said before we hit record, there's a lot of people trying to work from home now because the whole COVID thing and just getting yeah. used to being at home. Um, so right. with that being said, one of the stats that you know you mentioned is that over 40% of Americans now have a side hustle job to earn extra income. So wh- what is what are you seeing out there, you know, as far as the work from home jobs? Yeah, so um, I like to talk about the ones that most people don't know about because, you know, that's what I'm here for. So uh, one of the ones I want to talk about is it's called Becoming a Property Preservation Contractor. Now, I interviewed Danielle Pierce, and she was a FinCon. I met her at FinCon actually a couple of years ago when I went to the conference, and um, we were just in line discussing about what we do, and she told me that she was in real estate, but she doesn't buy or sell anything. So then I was like, okay, well, then what do you do? And the way she explained it is if you look around different areas, you'll see that there are abandoned houses. Mm -hmm. Now, those houses are either in the foreclosure closure process or they are already foreclosed, which means that they are owned by the bank. Now, these the banks don't like to get into real estate, so they need someone to actually preserve these properties until they can sell it. So as a property preservation contractor, you're just making sure that the landscaping is up cap. Um, This is not anything we like in as far as remodeling or anything like that, this is just like making sure that the house is preserving the property until the bank can sell it. And when I was asking her, okay, well, how much do you make doing this if you don't mind me asking? Mm -hmm. And she told me that she makes $400,000 a year doing this. Mm -hmm. So then, okay, I said, okay, that is awesome. But all right, now how much can someone like who just wants to get started, how much can they do, how much can they make? And she said, within 18 months, you can make $100,000 and, you know, following the tactics and things that she shares. So I said, okay, this is amazing. So she has a course that she, um, that she helps people follow through on how to actually become a property preservation contractor. And one of my readers took it and she's now earning $6,000 a month. And she wrote to me and now she's on her way to $10,000 a month. So that is what I love. And I love how you can be able to duplicate something because that's my biggest thing is like, okay, it's nice that you did it, but can other people do it? And the answer is yes. So I definitely recommend this to people who, you know, want to get into real estate, but not sure how, or you don't even have to be one involved in real estate. And the one thing I love about this is that Danielle outsources 100% of the work. She doesn't do any of the work. So she outsources the work to other people. She pays them and the bank, well, the bank pays her, she pays her workers and she uh, profits on the difference. And that's how she's been able to build her business. So this is a great business that you can build on the side into a full-time business. That's awesome. Because my one of my first thoughts was, okay, well, how much is she paying out? But if the bank pays her first and then she pays other people, then it's like, you know, kind of like no risk. Um. Exactly. So, I mean, it does come down to making sure you have reliable people, but that's the biggest thing. And if that is your biggest hurdle, she even helps you figure out how to, you know, do your contracts and find help too. So, I just, I love this concept so much. I just love just spreading the word about it because I've never heard of this. And I'm sure a lot of other people have never even thought that this was a thing. So that's one of the things that I always like to tell people about becoming a property preservation contractor. And there's so many others. I'm happy to share more. Oh, you know, we about to take <laughs> 
Um, but you know, one of my beliefs is the way out of poverty is ideas, right? So yeah. we don't know what we don't know. And that's, exactly. that's why I have this platform to bring people on like yourself to spread what ideas are out there for people to make, you know, spend, save and all of that with their money. So yeah. let's yeah. keep going. Um, what else okay. do we have out there? <laughs> okay. So another one that I love talking about is becoming a bookkeeper. Now, I, I not own my own business, and I know I was listening to one of your shows. You have a bookkeeper as well. And bookkeepers can make a lot of money. I know that like the average rate around is around $300 a month. And the typical uh, the amount that it t- the amount of time that it takes a bookkeeper could be maybe 30 minutes to an hour or even, you know, maybe it could take up to four hours, I would say. But that's and that's just a month. And you're already getting paid $300 for just so, that little bit of time. So I interviewed a mom on my website and she has nine kids, which is amazing. And she still makes over $2,000 a month as a bookkeeper because of the work, the way the work is. And so that's why I love talking about bookkeeping, because this is a great way that you can make money from home and do it at your own schedule, completely on your own schedule, as long as you do it within that month. And the business owners, we don't care. You know, we just want the work done. So we don't care when you do it and... So this is another great way to get started as a uh, way to make money from home is becoming a bookkeeper. And you can expand through um, from that as well, too, and other services. But I highly recommend, you know, becoming a bookkeeper as a way to make money from home. Absolutely. Absolutely. I actually um, have learned that, you know, after hiring one and just chatting with her and she's like, you know, a lot of times it doesn't really take too much time, but it's something cumbersome that as a business owner, I really don't have the time nor the energy to put into. And so it's like, I'm freely like, Hey, how much you charge? Here you go. Because I want this done. I need my books right for taxes, um, you know, and, you know, exactly. loans and, grants and whatever I need. And so to outsource that service is a no brainer for most business owners. And so, you know, whoever's listening, if you decide that you want to get into bookkeeping, you could be like, here I am and go ahead and get those monies. Um, <laughs> exactly. So, so what else, like what else out there um, on your website? And it's tried and true mom jobs.com correct yes so tried and true mom jobs.com and the concept is these are all tried and true like mom jobs things that moms have actually done and they do this at home with their kids and I love talking about these jobs because if a mom can do it anybody can these jobs are all flexible it can be done around your own schedule because as a mom life is unpredictable we don't know what when if kids not going to be feeling well we can't go to work this day so that's why these jobs are perfect for anyone just looking for a flexible schedule. Now, another one that I love talking about, especially with the way the world is going now, is becoming a virtual assistant. Mm-hmm. Now, you do not have to have any experience in this. And I know when I, my, this was my first job online, just trying to see, like, does this really work? Can you really make money online? So I went to Upwork and I found a position that was perfect for me. It was only working like um, five to 10 hours a week, and it was paying for $25 a, um, an hour. And it was great because I was still working a full-time job. I was still trying to figure out my blog. And I also needed some money, some extra money, just to really see can this work. And um, so, yeah, so I found a job. And now the way I found it on Upwork was I didn't have any experience as far as having any references or reviews. So I was like, well, how can I get her to trust that I can do this job? So what I did was I offered my services for free for one week just to say, I just want to prove to you that I know what I'm doing. and You don't have to pay me. I just want you to to show you that I can do the job for you and I can do a good job. So she accepted and it was a great relationship. And I was making a nice like extra thousand dollars a month on the side, just working as a virtual assistant. So that's why I say to anyone out there looking for just a way to make money, just starting out, definitely becoming a virtual assistant. Now, when I say virtual assistant, this can be anything from social media, just administrative duties, answering emails, sending emails out, um, answering phone calls. That doesn't really happen as often anymore, depending on the type of business, but um, writing, just posting posts for them. Um, Honestly, the list can go on. I can go on all day about virtual assistant tasks, but that is just definitely a great way. And I interviewed a mom on my website because she was able to turn into a six-figure business. And she has a course that you can actually take where she'll teach you step-by-step. It is a nice little price for the course. So I'm saying you don't have to, if you can't afford it, take the course. 
And the benefit of taking her course is that you can actually, businesses are always reaching out to her because they want, there's, um, they like how her students go through her whole training process. So they know that they're equipped and experienced now that they can do what they need them to do. So that is the benefit of taking a course like that is that you can actually have job offers after taking her course. So that's the nice part about it. But you don't have to if you can afford it. I know everyone's situation is different. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And virtual assistants, I have a few of them myself. And I love mm -hmm. Upwork. Love, 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 love Upwork. Um, but yes, that is definitely a need that small business owners have. Because um, like, for instance, I have someone that helps me with my social media. I love social media, don't get me wrong. It's just that I ran out of bandwidth. And I'm like, you know what, I need to farm this part out. I have someone that helps me with my emails, someone that does my podcast editing, um, yeah. all, all types of stuff. And so that's why I tell people, it doesn't matter what you love to do. There is someone out there that is willing to pay you for it. And yeah. um, like you were saying, Upwork is a great platform to make that happen, to get your foot yeah. in the door. Now, yeah. I also want to mention um, about courses too. Another plus with taking courses is that you get to learn from others' mistakes, right? So you don't yes. have to make the same mistake that they made. You can learn from what they did and you can just hit the ground running. And it's a text write-off too. <laughs> No. <laughs> any, any education, any courses that you take, if you are trying to start your own business or learn, make sure you record all of that because you can just write that off on your taxes. And that is the benefit of it too. You can learn and be able to take that benefit as well. So absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. So Whitney, I just want to get into really quick, like what made you decide to start your website? You know, I know, yeah. you know I kind of mentioned it in the bio, but I just want to hear from you just in case there's moms out there or anybody out there that's like, well, I want to start a website that's similar or, you know, something like yeah, that. Yeah. I know. I love talking about this. So, okay. So what the way it worked was I was working a nine to five and I was pregnant with my second child and I was already seeing like how much I was missing out on my son's life. My, I had a son that was um, two years old when I, this was all happening. And, you know, he was staying with my aunt and my mother-in-law and they were showing me pictures all the time, always sending me pictures at work. And I'm just like, oh, I want to be there like this. And he was having his first moments with them. And I was just not okay with that. So I was like, okay, at least by the time that I have my second child, I want to be home and raising my kids. I want to be the one that is there for their first. So I was looking on um, online for different ways I could make money from home and I could not find anything and everything just like seemed like a scam. You know, when they say if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Mm -hmm. So I said, um, I was just praying about my situation. I'm like, Lord, what can I do? And honestly, one morning I just woke up and that's why I know it was the Lord that just said, reach out to actual work from home moms and ask them, what do they do? How do they do it? And how much do they earn? I'm like, do you think, I didn't think people actually want to share how much they earn because that's kind of private but I ended up just asking and they answered so I said I'm going to create a website and share all these stories for moms like me in the same position just figuring out what are our options what can we really do from home from people who are doing it today and that's how I came up with the idea and that's when I started the website I had no idea about creating a website or anything but Google and YouTube has been my friend and Facebook groups and I learned all this stuff without creating like taking a course or anything and it was a lot of work. I'm not going to act like it was just a breeze. It was so many days I just wanted to give up and say, you know, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. But it was just, I had that drive in me that, okay, well, what I also, I will say this, I had a motivator because I was, there were the, these bloggers that I found in a Facebook group that were making $100,000 a month from blogging. So I'm like, okay, so this can really make money. People were really making money blogging. So I said, all right. Let me go ahead and create a website and share these stories with moms. And this is a way that I can make money as well. So that was kind of my drive to say this can actually help catapult me to being able to stay home and raise my kids. So that's what I did. And so I created a website and I shared these stories with these moms. But what I really did, I had to figure out how to get traffic to my website. Like, how are these people going to even know about me? Mm -hmm. So I had to learn SEO which to me was Greek, which is search engine optimization. I had no idea. I'm like, how am I going to do this? Like, I don't know anything about this stuff. But well, like they say, well, there is a will, there is a way. So I just, I saw this woman in a Facebook group that was saying she was going to offer her coaching services for learning SEO. So I said, okay, I'm going to bite the bullet. And I had to and pay $75, which was not even that much money, but I'm very frugal. I don't like to spend any money. 
And um, so I went in, just, uh, I took the, her coaching program, it was just like an hour. She was just t- telling me all the things she knew on the phone. And then I was writing everything down and I implemented her strategies. And that's how I started getting traffic to my website. So after about a year of implementing her strategies, my website just like blew up. I was getting so much traffic to my website, all from Google. So basically I was figuring out how to find out what questions people were asking and on Google. And I was answering through my blog articles. And that was how I was getting my articles to pop up in the search results. So if you know anything about Google, people are using Google every single day, constantly, 24 hours a day. So because I have so many of my articles now that are ranking on Google, I am constantly getting traffic to my website, which means that I'm constantly making money because I have ads on my website. So just by reading through or just reading through my articles and you might pass an ad, that's known as an ad impression. And I make money from that. And the more people you have coming to your website, the more money you make. So it's just been a great way to just make passive income. So while I'm doing this podcast right now, I'm sitting here being able to make money at the same time. And it's amazing just to know that this is even a thing. And I had no idea about this. So that's why I love sharing about it, because how are people going to know about this? You know, if you don't share it. So I'm just happy to be able to share that this is a great way you can make money, especially you have to do the hard work. But this is something that you can just enjoy for. I mean, I don't know how long this is going to last, but I'm going to ride this wave until I can't, can I, until I can't anymore. Right, right. And it, there's a few things I want to point out in your story that I just want to like reiterate for the audience. And that one of the things is the motivation, right? So in your story, you had intrinsic, so internal motivation, but you mm-hmm. also had ex- extrinsic motivation. So external right, exactly. motivation. And so the internal motivation was like, I need to be there for my kids. I want to be the one that's, you know, seeing them take their first steps and feeding them and all that stuff. But then the external motivation motivation was, okay, I realized that I can make money having this blog and this website. So now, you know, <laughs> having those two things, um, and that's what I tell entrepreneurs too, you have to have an intrinsic motivation. Um, yeah, you have to. Um, and then if there's, an ex- to, yes. yeah, if there's an external motivation too, then that's great, but you have to have that internal motivation. Otherwise, like you said, it'll be easy, very, very easy to give up and say, you know what, this ain't even worth it. I'm going back yeah. to doing what I was doing doing whatever, whatever. And so I just wanted to reiterate that point. And then also the other point is um, how you saw there was a need in the market and you were like, oh, and I can make money doing this. Like, and, and and it goes back to my point. It doesn't matter what you love to do. There is always someone that will pay you for it, whether it's people or whether it's brands for their ads and all that. Exactly. Um, yeah. and so I love your story and thank you so oh, thank much you. for sharing because that probably sparked one more idea. So if y'all were counting, we have given you, mm, I think about five or so solid yeah. Um, work from home opportunities. And then you can always check Whitney out um, to get even more. So Whitney, where can people find you? Yes, you can find me. Um, so just by going to my website, tridentumomjobs.com, you can find me by just going to the contact us page. And you can email me if you have any questions. But you can also find me on Instagram. Um, I believe it is Instagram with Whitney underscore TTMJ. I'm going to be able to, I'll give you the links, right? Yes, <laughs> I should know this stuff by now, but I'm just having a complete blank right now. I don't know if I changed it or not, but yeah, uh, Instagram is probably, and then YouTube, I forgot. I just started a YouTube channel about when the pandemic started and I'm like, okay, so the, oh, I did that too. I'm going to say it really quickly. I interviewed someone on my website who was making over $30,000 in a month in just ads. So that was what gave me to say, uh, okay, I think I'm going to start a YouTube channel. And because of that, now I'm be, I'm not there yet. I'm making like 5,000 a month, but it's just another great way where you can make money from home. And it doesn't even have to be things that you're an expert in, you know, just learn, watch videos, do your research and things like that. And anyone can do this. I know that if I can do it, anybody can do it. So you can also find me on my YouTube channel, Whitney Bonds, and that you can just put in Whitney Bonds and find me there. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. And if you all did not catch that, I will have all the show, um, all the links and everything in the show notes. So that way you can go follow Whitney, get all the juice. And I want to hear from y'all. If you all use any of these things that she mentions, either on the podcast or on her website, come back and let us know. So maybe we could do a follow-up episode. Like this is what happened. Um, But thank you so much, Whitney, for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. 
<laughs> Bye. Thank you for listening, joining, and being a part of the Money Talk with Tiff podcast this week. You can check Tiff out every Thursday for a new Money Talk podcast. But if you just can't wait until next week, you can listen to previous podcast episodes at moneytalkwitht.com or follow Tiff on all social media platforms at Money Talk with T. Until next time, spend wise by spending less than you make. A word to the money wise is always sufficient.